Well, hello everyone. This is Dan here, the founder of DataNTV.com, ex-Google, and PayPal Data Scientist. In this video, we're going to do something fun here. We're going to go through some SQL problems together. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably watching it because you have data science interview coming up, or maybe it's some other data roles such as MLE, DE, and BIE. And as most of you know, SQL problems are something that interviewers love to ask in technical phone screen and on-site rounds. And so it's really important that you practice as much as you can. I would say that people who often practice SQL problems as often as they can, let's say about two to three problems, have a really high chance of um, doing well in the SQL rounds. Personally for me, when I was a candidate in 2018, preparing for data science interviews at Meta, Lyft, um, you know, Google, and a bunch of other companies, what I did was over the course of um, you know, 30 to 40 days, I practiced about two to three problems um, almost every day. I allocated about six, six to nine minutes solving as many problems as I can. That was incredibly helpful when it came down to being able to solve SQL problems off the cuff in the high pressure interview setting. So it's really important that you practice that. Without further ado, let's get started on practice problems. All right. so. The first problem that we are going to tackle together is based on Facebook's data science interview. So we have these two tables, the user profile table along with the activity table, and we have to use these two tables to solve this problem, which is for each user who signed up on Facebook after 2020-0101, what is the proportion of time spent per event type? Assume that there's no duplication and missingness in the records, return the name, user ID, event, and proportion. Why don't you just pause the video for a second and think about what the solution is and actually try it out and provide it in a comment below and I'll chime in and put some, you know, provide some inputs about that. So in order to solve this problem, we have to think about what is the end output of this table. So basically we care about users who sign up after 2020-0101 and for each user we care about the event along with the time, the proportion of the time that they have spent per each user. So suppose that I spent about an hour on Facebook, 20 minutes on browsing, 20 minutes on searching, and 20 minutes on the whole sort of like sign up process for whatever reason. So in that case, the proportion of time that I have spent respectively across these events would be 0.333, you know, keep going, and then 0.333, 0.333 respectively. So that's the output that we want. All right. so. In order to solve this problem, well, we want to filter this user table uh, where we only care about the user IDs that have um, came after the date sign up being greater than 2020-0101. And we want to join it to this activity table um, on the common key in this case, which is going to be user ID, and then perform a group by where we compute the time that they have spent per user per event level. So I'm going to go ahead and you know write this. So I'll first of all write the user ID, if we want the name, and the event, and time spent, and from the user, in fact, I need, I'm going to have a subquery here because I don't want all of the users, I only want the users who came after this date we care about. So the user asterisk from where the date sign up is greater than 2020-01-01. And I'm gonna name this subquery here U. And I will join this with the activity table using the user ID. So using is just another way to express on. So you know you might say uh, U dot user ID equals activity dot user ID. Um, similarly, you know you could sort of truncate this and just say using dot user ID. Okay, so what this is going to give me is the join table here where I have the u, uh, user ID from the user uh, subquery table, the name, um, event, and time spent. And what I want to do next is actually aggregate this um, at the user ID and the event level granularity as a way to compute the total time spent spent per that granularity. And so what I will do is I will um, apply the sum function there. So I have the time per user event. 
and I'll do a group by one on the first column, the second column, and the third column. So user ID, the name, and the event. Okay, great. So I have this, but I'm not done yet because I need to calculate the proportion of time spent per event height. So how do I go about doing that? So what I'll do is I'll wrap this in a width block here. So I'll call this the time per user event. I'll wrap it in here. Oops. I'm going to wrap it in here. And I want my SQL to look clean, so I'm going to indent this. And what I'll do is I'll calculate the time per user as... So what I'm trying to do here is basically I want to calculate the time that... Um, uh, basically the total time that user has spent on Facebook and this part is going to be helpful because what I'll do is eventually I'll join the time per user event and time per user and that's going to give me two columns that I need in order to calculate the proportion so the time at the user event granularity divided by the time at the user granularity which is ultimately going to give me the proportion that each user has spent per uh, event so what I'll do is I'll take this select user ID, the name, actually I don't really need a name in this case, um, I'll do the sum, the time per user event, and I'll call this the time per user, and this is going to come from this time per user event, and I'll do a group by on that. Okay, so what this is going to give me is you know what is the total time that each user has spent on Facebook and then what I'll do is I will now join uh, these two tables I'm gonna go ahead and, and write the columns that I need so I'll call this u dot user ID um, in fact I'm actually gonna change the name of this so te dot user ID um, I need the name I need the event and I need the time per user event divided by time spent. Oh, oops, time per user. And I'll call this proportion. Now join the time per user and call this u uh, tu. And join it with the time per user event and call this te. And using the com key here, which is user ID. All right. So um, at overall, you know, basically this solution requires two um, aggregated tables: one at the um, the user event level and one at the user level. I join these two tables to basically get the proportion. Let's take a jab at this next problem. So this is a problem based on Uber's SQL problem. So we have two tables here, write status and user profile. And we want to address the following question, which is among Uber One users, who are the top three writers in terms of successful write count per market? Assume that there's no duplication and missingness in the records. Return the market ID, user ID, write count, and rank. So what we want to do is we want to um, basically, among each market, which writers who are in the Uber One status um, use Uber the most and you want to rank it on top three. So in order to do this, we want to first of all think about um, the events or the rows that we care about. So in the right status, we only care about events where the status of order is equal to success. And then for the user profile, we only care about um, users who are Uber One subscribers. So we want to apply subqueries where you know we, we filter on those records and then join those two subqueries. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to call this select u dot user ID, and I'll talk about where this u um, uh, alias came from in a second. So u dot user ID market ID, um, and this is going to come from the first subquery, which is right, which is select. Um, user ID where uh, from ride status 
where the status of order is equal to success. And I'll call this R. And I'm going to join this with the second subquery table, which is going to be user ID and market ID from user profile, where the Uber one is equal to one. And I'm going to call this the U. And I'll call the using equals uh, using on user ID, which is going to allow me to join these two subqueries based on the common key, which is going to be user ID. And I need an alias uh, for this column user ID because because um, if I don't, it's going to error out. You know, I need to determine whether I'm going to get the user ID from the R table or the user ID uh, user subquery table. So the next thing I need to do is I need to think about how I'm going to get the right count and the rank. So even before I get the rank, I need to first of all get the right count. So from this join table, what I can do is I can get the right counts. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cac I'm going to compute the number of rows in this case. So I'll call this a count, and this is going to be called the right count. And I need to group do a group by on the user. ID column and the market ID column expressed by one and two. And I'll, I'll wrap this in a with clause and I'm going to call this the um, right count per user market. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to try to get the rank here. So how I'm going to get the rank. So I'll use a partition by on the market ID, and then I'll sort it based on the right count. So what I will do is I'll call this the rank per market. I'm going to do a partition by ID, market ID, right count. And I'm going to rank it um, over partition by market ID, order by the right count in a descending order, because I want to get the count from the greatest to the least. Um, and I'm going to call this the rank from this right count per user market. And then last thing I want to do is I want to try to get the top three writers. So what I will do is I'll do a select this user ID, market ID, right count, the rank uh, from this temp table rank per market where the rank is less than four, which will give me top three writers in this case. All right, so all in all, basically this involves um, a joining of two subquery tables. Uh, from the right status and the, and the user profile, and then I apply a rank um, by partitioning the market ID where the rank is based on the order of the right count, and then I apply filter on this at the top three um, Uber One riders with the num most number of rides within each market. Okay, so all in all, you know, basically the bottom line is this: you know, when it comes to SQL problem, you just want to practice as much as you can. Um, if you're looking for more prep stuff like this, check out datainterview.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at dan at datainterview.com. Bye.